Of course, people across the United States are watching and waiting. Let's go now to John Zarella, who's standing by at Shaw Air Force Base. John? Catherine, we are just down the street, actually, from Shaw Air Force Base. Not too far away, right, Lee? And I'm with uh, Lee Esmonde, Esmonde mm -hmm. and her daughter, her daughter Shannon, and, uh, and Kitty here, sleeping. And uh, Lee's husband, Bill, is in Saudi Arabia, and he's been over there uh, since August. He's an air traffic controller, so there's a possibility that uh, tonight he may very well have been directing some of the attacks that were going on uh, against Saddam Hussein. And uh, we've been talking while sitting here, watching the president since about 8.30 tonight. And uh, Lee, uh, what did you think first of what the president said, and then of course what uh, Secretary Cheney said uh, about what's been going on? Well, I was very impressed with the president speaking, and I believe that everything is systems go if you if you will uh things are running smoothly on schedule we are um achieving our goals as we had set out to do as a result of the failure of diplomatic solutions to come about you think then uh from talking to you earlier that the president uh, has taken the right course of action absolutely i think this has uh, been going on long enough we have had uh the coalition has been doing their best to achieve some sort of a solution to this situation and nobody seems to have been effective when it comes to Saddam Hussein. You seem so strong through all of this. How, how do you manage? Well, bless your heart. I guess um, since Bill's been away for several months, it's sort of seasoning. Um, but um, with, this, with what's going on now, I am very, I hate to say this, but I'm glad that this has occurred. Not only the sooner it gets started, possibly the sooner Sodom will realize that we mean business, and rather than annihilate his country, we can come to a solution prior to going to that last step. What, what are your feelings tonight uh, as far as, I mean, you haven't gotten much sleep, though, in the last couple of days, and as far as your husband and where he is and what the troops and all of the people are going through right now? Well, from what I get from Bill, the morale is high, although the waiting can be get too great on the nerves and I spoke with some wives today and they said that uh, the people that are over there that used to be best of friends are now starting to squabble with one another even under the best of conditions I guess living in close quarters like that uh, that can occur what do you tell Shannon about all this about what her daddy's doing over there and uh, the job that he's performing the service for his country how do you put it to her well, I try to be as honest and as upfront as I can. Uh, sometimes you just have to um, say the truth regardless of the uh, you know, outcome. When it comes to kids, you, you can only shield them so much. Um, she knows that her daddy runs the risk of not coming back home, but she also knows that what he is doing is vital and it is necessary, and that is what he has trained 15 years to do. And uh, we're patriotic in this family, and we believe that what is going on now is unnecessary. Lee, thank you very much for letting us invade your privacy at what is probably a very private uh, moment for you and your family. Actually, I'm proud that I could uh, voice my opinion. Thank you, Lee, again. And we will uh, stay with you uh, throughout the, uh, the night. Uh, this is John Zarello reporting live near Shaw Air Force mm -hmm. Base in South Carolina.